Well, following the uh, engine installation, I pressed on yesterday and got all the wiring and everything put back together again. I'll take the camera off and we'll have a quick walk around, but the thing is that putting it all back together, all the pipes and wires and stuff like that, pretty much self-explanatory. But I'll show you what I did and we'll, we're going to try and start it up. So I've just put the uh, coolant back in, the antifreeze, and uh, yeah, hopefully it should work. So let's have a look around. I haven't put the air cleaner on yet, but I just wanted to show you some of the wires and bits and pieces that we've got. That's how you're supposed to put the, the cable tie around the top of the uh, solenoid to stop the wires chaffing about. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, I painted that tube, make it look nice. On the back of the alternator, I actually managed to find the original type of heat shield to keep the heat off the back of the uh, wiring and the alternator to stop them drying out somewhat. Um, what else? Put new hoses on there, on the power steering, just on the one. Uh, that was what I was going to say. I've completely taken off the exhaust gas recirculation system. So, as you can see, there's nothing on there. A new pipe up here and the wiring's gone. So that's good. Uh, brass plugs in here. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. I managed to find on uh, Amazon over here in Canada a BSP, half-inch BSP tap. Now, this is not a tap for tapping out making new threads. This is actually a chase for cleaning out old threads and it worked out ideal for this aluminium top here because it had a plastic bung in it before oh, when it was here. A plastic bung in it before and it was a bugger to get out and the threads were all badly damaged. This little thing here for $6.50 chased it out beautifully. Now there were some comments saying oh it wouldn't make a thread but this is actually parallel which this is Whenever you see there's a washer or a seal on the bung, you know, it, it's a parallel thread, not a, not a taper thread. So that's one thing to look for. What else? Uh, not much really. I had a bit of a fight with these, power, these uh, oil cooler holes, hoses. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with them, but they're, they're on again and they're all right. But um, they weren't as flexible as the originals. Are they better? I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> right, let's have a look over this side here. Um, the lift pump actually works. This is the brick part one and it actually works and it's primed. Uh, what I did was I turned the engine over by hand until the lift pump would actually meet the cam and then I kept pumping and pumping because I put a new filter on this so it's okay. I knew that housing was full of uh, filter, uh, full of fuel not filter and backed off these nuts here, this is the return to the tank until fuel was coming out of here that means the lift, the uh, injector pump is full now like I say I haven't put the air cleaner on yet I'm um, going to do that later to make sure everything works so I've got access to the clutch pipe, uh, bleed screw down there just in case I have to bleed it through underneath all the bolts are back on I put new nuts on. I'm going to show you uh, the tools I use to get these bolts tightened up here. Now, a lot of people have a bit of a struggle and ask me why I use the long extension bar. Well, I'll show you the, the sockets that I use and perhaps you'll understand. I bought a set of three universal joints. They're in quarter, three eighths and half inch. These were like 30 bucks. It's really cheap, but so much stronger than the regular universal joints we're familiar with when you get a tool kit, you know, like a set of sockets. And these are a constant uh, turn, if you see what I mean, which makes it handy if you put... Now I put 17mm sockets in and I'll try and include the video or a clip of it when I was underneath, but by using it with your uh, impact, you could get right underneath at a good angle and tighten those bolts up on the bellows in, so that was really good. Now one of the things uh, you probably observed with taking off the uh, uh, exhaust gas recirculation system is down here there's a T-piece that went to a vacuum unit that was on there, like an electronic switch. Uh, you've got to plug it off, you know, I'll put a little screw in there because if not um, it's not working properly and, and air can get sucked into here and lessening the power of your brake booster because it goes to that's that's just a tap 
and I didn't have anything to join those pipes together so I just put a little uh, a plug in the bung and that should be fine what else? nothing else really I think it's all ready to go looks alright doesn't it I haven't washed it off yet but I've got to get this truck out by fair means or foul to today or tomorrow it's Sunday uh, it's, oh damn bloody hell it's 20 to 4 I've been in here all day um, I've got to get this out because the 90 that's going back to Florida the guy wants me to give it a once over and check over uh, and of course because it's very cold it's got no block heater in or anything like that and I don't know what it starts like in winter because I never started it in the winter so we're going to get it in get it warmed up overnight and have a look at it on the lift for one last time so shall we see if this starts oh my goodness I'll do it live right I've just pushed the terminal on the battery this is it, honestly, this is God's honest truth. I don't know if it's going to start or not, or what it's going to sound like. Mm, almost daunting, isn't it? I've made sure it's in neutral. Let's have a, let's have a see. Oh, yeah. Battery doesn't sound very fit, does it? Inside. I'm, I get a bit too enthusiastic and I forgot to connect the hose pipe to the back door. Now it's bloody freezing. But anyway, let's go and have a look and see if the paint is burning off this manifold. No. Oh, <laughs> it comes off though. <laughs> oh dear. I've never had a good manifold paint, but seeing I sandblasted it, I didn't want it going rusty. Something's not right. You can hear it at the back. It's like a chuffing noise. Gasket can't be. But there's something at the back. Can't quite put my finger on it. But there's something worse. It's got too much back pressure. And I don't know why. Whether I broke a ring putting it in or not, but observe the breather. That's not right. And it's pushing oil out. And that could be wrong with it. You know, this engine was re -bored. I'm just wondering if there's uh, a broken ring. 
or each plug too big. There's no leaks out there anywhere, but I've just got like that uh, happy. And the thing is, this one's got the baffle in the rocker box because I painted it black. This could be a disaster. Look at why, look at it. Why is it smoking like that? And the reboard engine. So the, uh, the vacuum pump, uh, the vacuum pump's working great. I don't know, let me try it again. I'm, I'm a bit perplexed by this, because I've never seen this before. Let me take off the, uh, the vacuum and make it... Yeah, he's, you did hear that, he went... Start it up again. So what's the cause of that? Hmm, a bit perplexing. This was a brand new head. Can't be the head. Valve guides? Shouldn't be. Brand new valve guides. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do a compression test and find out the reason why it's doing that. That is, that is ridiculous. I mean, even the old one I took out wasn't doing that. God, I'm just wondering, is it, is it, did I break a ring putting it in? But even if I broke a ring, it shouldn't really be that bad. That is terrible. Well, a disaster. Oh, I was all excited about that, thought I'd get this job done. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better, does it? Anyway, we're not going to find out now. <laughs> we're uh, the only way to do it is have a, a like a compression test, and uh, see what's wrong. I don't know. I've never had one like this before, so I don't really know. I've never had one so so much blow by. Oh God, I hope he's bought it right. I don't know. I'll get back to you. I don't know when. 